Thank you for tuning in to the Earth Treks Prehab Rehab video series. My name is Jack Skelton, and I will be walking you through a few finger and wrist prehab exercises. If you spend any time climbing, hangboarding, or training movements in a press position, you can benefit from some additional wrist and finger exercises to help build strong, durable joints. This will allow us to practice our favorite sport pain-free and hopefully prevent future injuries. In this video, I'm going to review over a few great exercises you can do at home or before your training sessions. So let's get going. I like to start any training session with a quick dynamic warm up. Just like this rubber band, we're gonna lightly and quickly stretch out our tendons to prep them for higher loads. Our first warm up exercise is going to be wrist shakes. Just keep your fingers relaxed and shake your hands side to side for about 10 to 15 reps. Once you reach that point, just switch the plane and shake your hands up and down. Our second exercise is going to be finger flicks, where we're going to be targeting our finger extensors. Start with your index finger and do 10 to 15 flicks and then work your way down to your pinky, doing 10 to 15 flicks per finger. Once you get to your pinky, work your way back up. An important point for this exercise is just to be sure to put a decent amount of force through your fingertip into your thumb with every flick. Our last warm up exercise is finger snaps. A little different from the flicks, we're actually gonna be warming up our finger flexors. Starting with our index finger, we're gonna do 10 to 15 snaps and again, work our way down to our pinky. Similar to the finger flicks, we're gonna make sure to put a good amount of force through the tip of our finger into our thumb with each snap. And this is also a great opportunity to work on your jazz snaps. Now that we're all warmed up, we're gonna be moving forward with our first exercise, finger tendon glides. Start with your fingers fully extended and your wrist in a neutral position or just slightly extended back as seen here in this example. From here, fold your fingertips flat against the top of your palm while applying light pressure and begin to slide them down as far as you can. Once you reach the bottom, reverse the motion and slide your fingers back up. You can do up to three sets of 10 before or after your training session. If you are looking to increase the difficulty, you can by adding tension through your fingers. I like to imagine I'm pressing my fingers hard into a climbing hold. The more tension you add, the harder they become. For high tension finger glides, I recommend one or two sets of four reps as you're going to feel a bit pumped afterwards. The second exercise is finger extensor lifts. The goal of this exercise is to get our often neglected finger extensors, some quality work, and to practice moving our fingers independently from one another. Start by placing your palms flat on the floor and spread your fingers out wide. From here, you're going to individually lift each finger and hold it up for two seconds. You may notice that some fingers are more difficult to lift than others, which is totally normal. When lifting your fingers, it is a common mistake to slightly lift your palm off the floor. Since you're trying to get as much range of motion as possible, just be sure to reflatten your palm if you notice it leaving the ground. To modulate intensity, just rock your shoulders behind your wrist to make it a little bit easier, or you can rock your shoulders forward to make it more difficult. Just be warned, it doesn't take too much forward leaning to dramatically increase the intensity of this exercise. If you wanna do this exercise in a more climbing specific way, you can use a hangboard or even the top of a door frame. Just walk underneath the edge you will be using and place your fingertips in a half crimp position. A quick aside, if you're unfamiliar with grip positions, an open-handed grip as seen here, is a lower intensity grip where your middle knuckle is straight and your hand is draped below your fingertips. Moving into a half crimp position, you can see my middle knuckle has shifted from straight to close to 90 degrees and my hand has moved up and slightly out. This grip is slightly higher intensity on your finger joints and tendons compared to an open handed grip. It is commonly used to grab smaller holds or to generate more force through your fingertips. With your hands in position, keep your feet on the floor and drop your weight down until you feel a light pressure through your fingertips. The same as the floor variation, you can now individually lift each finger off the edge and hold it up for two seconds. The last exercise I'm going to cover is fingertip wrist push-ups, which are great for working wrist flexion. Place your palms flat on the floor, spread your fingers out wide and rotate your hands slightly out. Keeping your shoulders directly over your wrists and your fingers as straight as possible, press through your fingertips and lift your wrists and palm off the ground. I like to press up for one second and slowly lower my hand back to the floor. If you find your pinky leaving the ground, just rotate your hands out further.
You can once again decrease the difficulty by rocking your shoulders back or increase the difficulty by rocking forward. And you can do three sets of 10 reps before or after your climbing session. So that's all I've got for you in this video. Thanks again for watching. This was a ton of fun to make and I hope you found these exercises useful and are able to incorporate them into your training. Please subscribe to our Train On YouTube page and stay tuned to Earth Trek's Facebook and Instagram for more yoga and fitness related content. Thanks again.